you and the Booyah tribe, right? What was the yeah. situation between y'all? Because y'all had a confrontation at some point, right? What happened with that? Well, that was the one thing. That was uh, one of the situations that uh, I got into it with them. Uh, they had, you know, another group. They had got in. They beat up my cousin. They got my cousin. So when I went back, I told you, that was early. So I went back by myself. What's up? So we going we about to get into it. One of them pull out a gat. I pull out my gat, and we basically just you know it's staring. Nobody's busting, but nobody's running. It was it was a crazy situation. Uh, then the homie, one of my homies, that called me uh, from his car, but I ain't got you know ain't got no time to be looking to the side or looking to see who got us. Shit, it's a gang of fools right here. You know what I'm saying? So. It ended up, my homie, I ended up, blah, my homies ended up coming out the door and them fools, they just took off running. You know what I'm saying? We ended up squashing that a uh, couple of years later. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, everything was cool. But yeah, we had a little, you know, a little thing, you know, but uh, you know, that's how it was back in those days. You know what I mean? Everybody was, you know, trying to be the roughest and the toughest, you know, and, uh, they weren't backing down, and I, I'm certainly not backing down. So, uh, you know, we squashed that. We, I mean, you know, I think I saw them, uh, a couple of them, like a few months ago. And uh, we were cool, I think, in, in Vegas, actually, uh, doing something. Uh, uh, I was doing a show with, uh, with CeeLo, actually. And uh, so, you know, we're grown. I think everybody might have been in their 20s at that time. We too old now, man. We in our, you know, fifties and sixties now, and so we ain't got time for all of that. But yeah, you know, there there was something, you know, between myself and the Booyah tribe, no doubt. Yeah, that's a wild story, man. I heard about the Booyah tribe, man. They ain't nothing to play with. So you stand your ground, man. I respect it. I mean, I mean, I mean, they not. I mean, they some they some big dudes. They some big ass Samoans. You know what I'm saying? Who got heart? You know. So I mean, you know, if if uh. You get into it with them, you know, you better be prepared to get into it with them, you know, or if you mess with one of they, you know, one of the homies, one of they folk, then be, be prepared to get into it with them because you don't know what people, because always people want to test you. My name, Loke, was one of the toughest and worst things I probably could have done by having that name. Not only do I have, I got all, every set and everybody. I'm an independent gang by myself with that name. Cause everybody's like, what set you from? You know, what's up? What's that? Everybody. Crips, Crips and Bloods. So when I say I'm an MF5, which I am now, which means I'm a, I'm a motherfucking individual. So uh, anybody, you know, it's a head up thing for mine. Knuckle Junction, always. <laughs>